We all know the importance of quality score of your keywords for your Google Ads campaigns. But with all the recent changes in Google Ads, especially with machine learning and artificial intelligence, how important is quality score right now in 2019? So let's go a bit deeper as to what Google says about quality score right now. Hello, I'm Ozer and thanks for joining in. If you like videos like this one, then please uh, subscribe to my channel and you'll be the first one to be notified when I upload other similar videos like this one. So let's take a look at the definition of quality score, what Google uh, says. So we all know that it is made up of between 1 to 10 um, uh, scale, 1 being the worst and 10 being the best. So as per the Google Ads uh, Help Center, um, they define it as quality score is an estimate of the quality of your ads, keywords and landing pages. So that is made up of these three components, right? Higher quality scores can lead to lower prices and better ad positions or ad rank, which it's fine and you can see your quality score reported on a 1 to 10 scale now we wrote down a bit further and it says your quality score is an aggregated estimate of your overall performance in ad auctions and it is not used at auction time to determine ad rank now I know a lot of us fuss very much about quality score and we sometimes see 3 out of 10 but that keyword is performing really well um, so how does that work so right now in 2019 what Google is saying is that this metric is not taken into account at the auction time so what they're saying is the 1 to 10 quality score shown in your account is an aggregated estimate of your overall performance in your ad auctions and not at that particular point in time. Therefore, it can't be used uh, at auction time to determine ad rank. Real time auction specific quality calculations of expected click through rate, ad relevance, and landing page experience, among other factors, are used to calculate ad rank. At auction time so these factors which are based on things known only at the time of the auction can heavily influence the quality of a user's experience and that's what you need to now uh, think about is and the most important thing which I would highly recommend is this um, more and more of your um, the impact which is going to have on your campaigns is through the landing page experience because Google wants to give the user a great uh, landing page experience. If your website or your landing pages are very slow to load up, um, you will um, end up paying a very heavy price in organic rankings as well as in paid ads because with more and more people using the smartphone and the smaller devices it is absolutely critical that you you have a very fast loading um, website and for that I would get you to look at AMP which is the accelerated mobile uh, pages and that will help you get a great user um, experience on your landing pages Obviously, the click-through rate and the ad relevance is important as well. And that can, if you got your keywords in the ads and make your ads more relevant, you are going to get a higher click-through rate. So, this is, the landing page experience is totally in your hands. Because you can make it really good or really bad. And then, if you have done all the things which Google is asking, uh, you to do um, you will increase um, the conversions as simple as that you know having a faster uh, page load time increases the conversion rates so if you are uh, asking people to take a, a specific call to action be it to sign up to a form or make a purchase on your website then make sure that your websites are lightning fast and they 
the load up and it's easy to navigate the headings and the message is crystal clear so when somebody lands on your pages or on that specific page it is absolutely clear as to what uh, you offer and what you are all about so have a look at your uh, landing page experience go to the google page speed test and try your landing page and if it is a bit slow then you need to speak with your uh, webmasters to get it right so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye for now